Yes. Mm -hmm. In uh, Acts chapter 20, uh, verse 35. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've showed you all things, how that so laboring you ought to support the weak. <laughs> to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. <laughs> You know, I've been wanting to give a lot. There was thoughts of, of me supporting a five-star charity where I give room and board in a five-star hotel and I provide the meals for those women that want to volunteer. Yes. And, of course, I support their children, too, the five-star homeschool. <laughs> but I've been obstructed from giving how I want to give. <laughs> Now, you would have thought when I informed you of forgery and fraud, yes, mm -hmm. that there would have been an obligation on the part of law enforcement to enforce the laws. <laughs> Instead, you decided to cover it all up and you were just going to say I was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I've been wanting to give you some lawsuits. <laughs> now, let's say I'm charitable. Yes. And I find out the church is... They thought that somebody owed them something for being in religion. Yes. <laughs> My thought was, well, they can just give more to support the United States than they have been. <laughs> now, there's always a big question because... When you obstruct my rights as an American citizen, I start thinking of ways to give you something. <laughs> now, I notice when looking through some uh, annual reports of various departments or cities of the United States that you're paying to have certified your financial reports. Yes. <laughs> You've been giving something, uh, money, yes, <laughs> for the certification of your financial reports. <laughs> I think it's a waste of money. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what if I gave you a lawsuit that sued you so that you no longer could use any certification companies to certify any of the reports as police departments? Yes, as cities. Ouch. Now, there used to be what was known as auditing. Yes, where you would go through the actual finances of a city. Yes, and then you'd audit them. Yeah, and then you'd find out if they were embezzling any funds or paying any kickbacks or were involved in any sort of corruption. <laughs> now, I like the idea of the audit versus the certification. <laughs> See, let's say I sent in an annual report to one of these companies that certifies it. Yeah. It looks nice. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I put a copy of it on my drive. Yeah. It's, you, it looks really good. There's like one typo that I had seen, and I just looked at it for a few minutes. Yes. But it's really not an audit, is it? No. Nah. No, no. Now, on the expenses, yeah. How much did you pay for your computers? Did you get some new desktops? Ouch. Mm -hmm. Now, my thought was that it is more blessed to give than to receive, and I've been wanting to give you some lawsuits. Yes. Uh -huh. Then I've been wanting to give to charity, Christianity, the faith that I accepted. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to plan one of these international um celebrations of the last 2,000 years of the resurrection of Christ. Yes. But as the Illuminatus king, what I thought I would do is I'd go through all the escort services of each and every city. <laughs> I'd invite all the employees to meet with me in a very large room, <laughs> ask them all to remove all their clothing so that they would stand there naked, <laughs> and then I would tell them that they're fired. Yes as in they are no longer employable for any employee of any city, county, state, reservation, or the United States. Now, as the king of the Illuminati, I thought I would have to unemploy approximately 100,000 escorts throughout the United States. <laughs> Could you get me all the escort services of this great nation? <laughs> then every employee of every form of government of the United States that thought, well, you have to come to find out, don't you? <laughs> and it's just a date, isn't it? <laughs> now, when I myself, as the Illuminati king, yes, uh, it, well, I unemploy them. <laughs> I explained to them, I'm sorry, you're no longer employed as an escort. <laughs> this police chief can no longer employ you. Yes. This sheriff no longer has need of your services. Yes. I do it when they have all their clothes removed because they will not believe a person unless they're naked. <laughs> now, out of the 100,000, there might be three or four that I think are attractive. <laughs> And I'd say, well, how would you like to volunteer to make babies with me? Yes, because I do not pay for sex. Now, 
I do pay for a place for you to stay while volunteering. Yes, I pay for your meals and clothing and various other items you need as a woman. <laughs> but there was this thought, yes, <laughs> that the lizard and the ass sting of the electric grid, yes, had caused an immense amount of employment opportunities for those in the escort business. <laughs> now, let's say that there's a hundred thousand individuals that are no longer employed. <laughs> 